Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is part three in the Grand Rapids series and actually the first time I'm talking to the camera for it. Not quite sure how that happened, but here we are. This video is a follow-up to Reformed Night Shots 800, which I shot in Grand Rapids at nighttime. However, this time we're finishing off the roll in the daytime. I wasn't quite sure what to expect from the film in the daytime, but we got in the truck, drove uptown, found this cool lookout spot, took a couple pictures while we were there. I noticed this red Ford and I just thought it looked really, really cool in the white snow, so I snapped this picture. Really glad I did. I love the way it turned out. Today we're shooting the rest of that nighttime balanced reformed night shots film. However, these are some of the brightest conditions we've I've shot in with all the snow. So I don't know how good it's gonna look. We're gonna go get some coffee. Now we're in Grand Rapids shooting a nighttime tungsten balanced film in the middle of a city. Sir. It's such a bummer. Madcap Coffee Co. really did us dirty today. They're closed. Yeah. All I really wanted was just a bag of beans. That's the real reason I'm out here. I, you know, can't always get what you want. It is bean this, bean that. He never stops talking about beans. He never stops eating beans. He'll eat any kind of bean. Give him a bean, any he'll eat it. Bean. Loves question. beans. Big bean guy. They are hitting out a lot of... I don't know how good I've been. I think, I think on this roll, I was pretty solid, so I might even get an extra shot or two. Okay. I really like the scale of this building next to this street light. I do like the way these pictures came out. I do think they are some of the best of the role. I love how mellow they look. All right, I'm out of film. I did bring another roll. I only had about half a roll of film left anyway, and I'd already come all this way, so I threw in some Kodak Gold. That's what the rest of this video is shot on. Stuff. I really, really love this shot. I don't know if it's just my luck or what, but every single roll of film I've been shooting lately has had 38 exposures on it. I've perfected the art of loading the camera in such a way that I get most of a frame off of this first shot, so I was kind of already expecting some of this to be cut off. I love the way this shot came out. Took a minute. Come on, let's go. That was sweet. Got an idea for a thumbnail, a YouTube thumbnail. Okay. That green elephant is broken, so I'm gonna put the film camera in there. Take a picture of the film camera with the digital camera oh. in the green elephant. Let's go. Let's see. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Here's a bunch of Kodak 200 from that day. And make sure you hit subscribe so I can see you in the next video.